Hey guys, it's Tanya here. Thanks for watching. So I had one of my subscribers request a video, so I wanted to do that for them. And they asked me to go into kind of more in detail video about my Bite Beauty lip pencils. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to talk about the three that I own and a little bit about the company and let you guys know what I think. I don't know if Bite is sold in America, in the USA or not. I know it is sold at Sephora in Canada and it is a Canadian line, which is awesome. I think it is so important to support local companies. Granted, we all know I spend a ton of money over in the USA, so you guys get tons of support from me as well. But when you get a company like Bite that's based here out of Canada, you gotta fund it. Because if you don't fund it, it's not gonna survive. So Bite is operating out of downtown Toronto. Their mission is to create lipstick that is high performance and healthy enough to eat for women everywhere. So what I like about Bite is that all their products are made with all natural stuff. So you can literally like eat these and it won't be harmful to you, which is kind of good. Cause all so I love these. I'm wearing one today. I will tell you all about this one in a minute. So how I got introduced to Bite was I bought a lip kit last Christmas and it had this in it. And I had never heard of the company Bite before. This is one of their lip glosses. This is Lip Shine in Vintage. And I used this a couple times and was like, what is this? It smells amazing for an all natural product. It has kind of like a fruity scent, but the pigmentation on this for, uh, you guys can't see because my, oh there we go. It's beautiful. For a lip gloss, that's beautiful. It was this gorgeous kind of purpley mauve color. This is Quince. Quince is a gorgeous hot pink color. First off, they're twist ups, which I really like, and they twist back down. They start with a point, of course, that will wear off, but they're small enough that this, even if it's a flat shape, fits your lips. So I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch that for you right on camera so you can see. Just a couple quick rubs, super bright. That's not even close to straight. Let's fill that in a little bit. Okay, super bright, hot pink color. Love it. Smooth and creamy. I put this one on about three hours ago. It's still really nice. These also leave a slight stain. So once it wears off, there is a slight stain and it is an even stain all over your lips. When you first put this on, it is so smooth, so creamy. It adds a really nice glossy texture. And I would say it lasts a good four to six hours of normal wear. I was like not eating, not drinking, you know, not doing any of the funny stuff. Just putting it on, it stays on for a long time. So I love that. So after trying this, I went on the hunt for Bite products. And I went to my local Sephora, and you all know my obsession with lip pencils. So I picked up two originally because the one I really wanted was sold out because this is like the world famous one. Everybody knows this color. That's what Lady Sephora told me. I don't know for sure. I haven't seen a whole lot of reviews on these so I don't know how many other people know about them. But anyway, I'll talk about this one last. It is the one I'm wearing on my lips. I'm going to start with these two. I went in and I swatched a whole bunch of these and I ended up with these two. So Zinfandel is the red one and the um, kind of hot pink one is called Quince. Q -U a N C E. So this one's been on for almost three hours now and it looks amazing. But so anyway, back to the review. This is Quince, so it's a beautiful hot pink color. And then the second one is Zinfandel. This one survived better. I've also used this one more, as you can see. I like red lips. You guys know. Um, let's swatch Zinfandel. These are very creamy. You need... S Sorry, somebody's outside my house. You need so little product with these to get a good effect. So that's Zinfandel. It's a nice bright orange coral red. It's really pretty. And then the one I'm wearing on my lips, I went back four times. This was sold out every single time. This is, it's called Corvina. C-O-R-V-I-N-A. It is a gorgeous, bright, like, pink color. It's stunning. It's like, oh. It's a stunning coral color. It's, I'm not going to touch it up because I want you guys to see the actual effect of what it looks like. Messy. I'm so tired of having to clean these today. There we go. So Corvina is the one I'm wearing on my lips right now. As you can see, these are very vibrant and they are very richly pigmented. Now you can see I still have three swatches on my hand. I'm going to actually find a baby wipe to get these off so I can show you guys just how much they stay on. Actually, let's use a makeup wipe. I might as well. I'm gonna use a makeup wipe and I'm gonna take this off and show you guys what happens. I don't know if you guys can see, but there is staining there. So they do stain, which is really, actually I like that because when it comes off your lips, you're not left looking like you were wearing lipstick and now you're not. You're left with a little bit of color that kind of balances you out towards the end of the day. Okay. 
It's already a little bit late here, but I will try and do one more checkup, check in before the end of the evening. We can't see from that far away. 6.57. There you go, 6.57 right now. So I'll check in again in a couple hours and I'll let you guys know how these are holding up. I am going to film some other videos, but I will try not to eat or drink because that's not really a fair evaluation. So after I did the review on this lip pencil, I really wanted to try it out. So I put it on again this morning. It is now 10.50. I don't know if you guys can see that from this far away, but it's 10.50. I have been wearing this since 9 a.m., so I'm going to check back in probably around noon and let you guys know how it looks. But this is it right now. So it is 2 p.m., and actually for the most part, it looks like it's holding up really nicely. I'm going to just pull the mirror out. It is definitely fading. I'm going to zoom in so you guys get a better look at the lips. It is definitely fading around the top and kind of in the little creases which worries me a little because I think it's not going to fade super evenly. Paxson's right behind me. So like I said, you can see where the fading is happening here. And then up here. And But I ate lunch and I drank a glass of water. But you can definitely see some fading. So I'm going to reapply. So that's it, reapplied. So I just reapplied and we are going to go till the end of the day and see how it wears on. And I will do one more update tonight before I go to bed. So this is my last update for today for this lipstick. It is now 5.41. I've touched it up once um, in the video that you guys saw. I'm going to zoom in close. Uh, I would say there's definitely fading. There's no bleeding, which I love. My I add, I love there's no bleeding. It's definitely almost all gone from like the inner, inner corners. But all in all, for just a lip pencil product, I would say that it had really long staying power. And just to show you guys what the other two colors look like on the lips, this is Quince, which is the really nice bright hot pink. And this is Zinfandel, which is the orangey red color. So all in all, as far as, as far as lip pencils go, these are some of my favorite high-end lip pencils. I just find them so creamy and so long-lasting. They're really awesome that way. Hope this video was informative and you guys got to see the longevity of it. Hope this meets your request. And if any of you have any requests for other makeup you'd like me to review, let me know because you know I have a whole bunch of it that I can review for you. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.